Hey there, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris, and since Pi Day is coming up, I decided we should make an app. So, we're going to make this. See, I just tilt it, and the ball moves around, and it's running on a Raspberry Pi. So, let's go take a look at this. The code for this application is very, very simple, and it's really enabled by using some of the Meadow stack. So you can see that we're starting out. This is just a .NET executable app running .NET 8. So nothing unusual, nothing fancy there, nothing special. In the program, we've got our typical static void main as our entry point. This calls the Meadow OS start which bootstraps the entire Meadow stack. This enables us to have our application derive from app, and we say it's a Raspberry Pi. This gives us the pinouts for the Raspberry Pi and a device. It also gives us an initialize and a run that we can override. You can see I've uh, overridden initialize here. I use the device, which is the Raspberry Pi, and we say we're going to create the I squared C bus that gives us that instance. And then we pass it into the app engine. That's the entire application. So if we go look at what the app engine is doing, the app engine takes in this interface to an I squared C bus. It passes it to the MPU 6050, which is the gyroscope on this device. And then it also passes that same I squared C bus to the SSD 1306, which is the display that you saw that has the little ball uh, rolling around on it. From there, we just look at the updated event. The nice thing about Meadow uh, peripherals, they all support an updated event. So you don't have to go looking for what is the event that I need to hook up. It's simply updated. So we hook that event. And then we call start updating on that, uh, on that peripheral. This is a little bit of a mess looking, but it's simply taking that acceleration 3D, so the gyroscope input, and de uh, determining which way we're tilted and whether or not we need to move up, left, down, or right. This is using a display service. So the display service... Again, very, very simple. We've got a micro layout screen and a micro layout circle. We create those at the beginning and then those move calls from the app engine simply tell that circle to move its X or Y coordinate and stop when it hits the edge. That's all there is to this whole application. So then I can build this app, then go out to where it is on disk. And here is my Raspberry Pi. You can see I've created this folder called Tilt. There's nothing in it. And I can prove that here. List it. Nothing is there. I'm just going to deploy it. You can deploy from VS Code or Visual Studio, but it's a little bit of a challenge to get that set up and reliable. And I just wanted to show how simple it is to build an application, copy it to the target, and then run it. So we've copied it. Now, you can see everything's here. We can execute. And again, we're back to running on the Raspberry Pi. This is a 02, a 02W, I think, specifically. Now that I've shown you that that works, let's take this exact same application and run it on a brand new Raspberry Pi 5. And here we have it running on the Raspberry Pi 5. This is one of the wonderful things about the Meadow stack. It allows us to take hardware and move it 
between all of these devices without worrying about exactly how, uh, what platform we're running on. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching.